Welcome everybody, it's Tractor Shoot here for one of our Great Friday challenges where you must sacrifice some workers. By the 10 minute mark, I want to see at least one worker sacrifice. And by the end of the game, you must sacrifice a total of 25 workers altogether. Now whether or not you build an extra Nexus Command Center or Hatchery and just rally them to your opponent, or you just wander down, even if you get a scouting one killed in your opponent's base, either way, they must go right through straight to the opponent's base there, and get killed there, like I say, first one by 10 minutes, March 25 altogether, you will get the win, and yes, I do realize it's Saturday, so I would like to publicly apologize for missing out on Friday here, things got a little busy there, but either way, we are getting them all up today for you here, so in the bottom right hand corner, we have the man who submitted this baby, it is Sun Thieves for Team Tractor Shoot, playing as the Red Proton. In the lower left hand corner playing as the blue zerg, it is Najirek. Najirek will be playing as our blue zerg. And let's get this baby going. Look at that. We're not doing too bad. 50 to 30 would lead you to believe they are a little bit uh, lower ranked than what they actually are. But both these players are gold in this matchup here. So it should be a fairly decent game if you ask me. Anyways, getting the old production tab up here, we will see that we are just building probes and drones here. We will also keep an eye on the workers killed throughout this to keep a good count on here. Not entirely sure what they're talking about, but I'm sure it's something fairly interesting, and I just don't care to pay attention to it. Najirak, my good man, is not getting anything special out. Already has 13 workers out, no spawning pool at this point in time. Meanwhile, some thieves at the same time is doing the exact same thing, just getting a ton of his... Uh, probes out there, but now has a forge going down there and his opponent gets his worker right into his base here. In the meantime, his opponent does look like he is going to go with a hatch first, and that is the choice he does decide to make there. Do have an overlord flying over here. Do also have the forge there. Didn't, not too sure if we did miss any worker kills. No, we... Oh, sorry, we did have blue. All right, we will give that to some of these for going down the other end. It did end up losing his scout there, so not too shabby. <laughs> Apparently someone is the best, and I don't know if it's our good man playing for Team Tractor Shoot of Some Thieves, or if it's Najirak. There we go, Najirak there is going to sit in the base for a little bit there, does see that the Forge Fast Expand looks to be happening here, and he's going to try and delay that. He's going to stand there for a little bit, do a little bit of patrolling there, be a little bit more of a pain in the ass there, but that probe's going to go to work on him. He will just continue the rally while he gets his arse whooped there, and does decide to get out of there, but he's still going to go in circles here, do as much delaying as he can here, and there he goes, lets that Nexus go up just like that. Meanwhile, he still is not a luck to get a spawning pool out of it at all, but at the same time, he was probably paying a lot of attention down here, making his drone go back and forth there. There's the gateway, getting a nice little wall off. Very smart move there. Najirak does see that gateway go down there, so knows exactly what is on his way here, and he is getting all the way back to his base here. And that's about it there. He's going to send a second overlord over there as well here. And there we go. Another probe's going to come down here, do a little bit more building there. I have to imagine some cannons going to go down. And yes, there we are, right on cue. We do have a cannon about to drop down there. There's a cannon right in the middle. Very smart placement there by Sun Thieves. And we do have the one gas, two gas, sorry, going down. Spawning pool has finished up for him here. So it shouldn't be too, too bad. I imagine he's going to start spitting some dogs out, maybe get some metabolic boost. Quite possibly here, and the queen is also just coming out there. A little bit, uh, a little bit delayed on the queen, but that's quite fine. Second queen is coming out as well here. Now the other end, we are going right to a cybernetics core for Sun Thieves. Not playing that bad of a game so far with the double gas going down as well here. So very, very good. And also have the long distance mining probe there. And nothing up here going, but he's saying, what composition should I get? It's always nice when your opponent asks you for tips like that, because then you can help him out. He says, laughing out loud, I do not think that is a unit composition, but it is apparently mass, zealots, and beware what you wish for, son, because that might actually be your detriment. And either way, there the wall off. We'll finish off with the zealots standing right in the middle of that tiny little hole here. And at the top, we are getting a pylon just for some warping in purposes at the top, plus more buildings I would have to imagine at some point in time here. If we take a little quick boot at our units tab here, we will see that we have two dogs on the field. You will see four more were coming, and there are six all together there. 27 to 20 as far as the worker kill or uh, count goes there. There's the doggy standing around there being good little pups. And he's also going to send a couple out, get a little bit of uh, scouting going on here. Suntees apparently doesn't think Mass Zealot's going to do the job, wants another unit that he can put into that compilation. Meanwhile, I think Mass Zealot would be a pretty sick build. And there he goes. He's going to go out and do his little job of scouting here. These two dogs watch him wander on by just like that. And these two dogs are also going to come up here. They're going to join forces with the first two dogs here. Won't be a whole heck of a lot they can do. Won't even be able to get out. But we are getting warp gate technology as well here at a very massive rate. And the hive is going to go down early here. We're also going to get a very uh, quick hive with the spine card to support that at the front gate. And he's also going to fly around the overlords, make sure he gets very good vision on the map, which he does have so far. So that is very, very impressive, my good man, Nat Najirek. Nagarek. 
It just doesn't roll off the tongue. It will be tough for me to remember that one throughout this cast, but we will do our best. It does look like he has pretty much got this top base at a nice probe count with the 16 probes rallying the other ones down to the other end here and the, um, what do you call that thing there? Mothership core is out as well here. And look at this, Sun Thieves electing to put his expansion in a very odd location, very cocky location quite possibly, uh, could be called by some. And he is rallying that probe back and forth there to make sure he gets very good exercise. So when he does start mining, he will mine twice the speed of the other probes. So keep that in mind. Very good tip for StarCraft 2. Do, uh, do constant rallies like that. Get their legs in the shape. And they will mine just like a mule. And we have not teched out up other than the uh, metabolic boost to no other building. So he must have some sort of plan with this layer here. I would have to imagine Muta would not be out of the question. Uh, especially since he told Sun Thieves to go Mass Elot. So why not go Muta? He's the obvious counter to Mass Elots. He, but he is amassing quite a few dogs. The beer's going to wait till they get their wings. And then I would have to imagine he's going to fly into there uh, with his super duper speed and see what kind of damage he can do here. All right, Sun Thieves, what do you got going for us? Sun, we have one and two and three and four and five. That is the Mass Sealot build in case anybody is wondering. It is the six gateway build. And he has warp, uh, warp gate out. Hasn't got the warp gate out necessarily. Got the warp gate technology though. So I have to imagine that's going to come pretty quick here. There we go. 16 and 16 for workers. Always a very good count for anybody that's wondering out there. That is the prime count to get the best mineral mining timed. If that makes any sense at all. Either way, we're going to get a couple five, or a couple cannons down here. Make sure he has his wall defended here. Especially if his opponent finds him nice and early. Those dogs will not like those cannons. I will tell you that much. They have a little bit of wing action going here. And he's saying, yay, very active scouts. Not entirely sure what that means or if he's referring to the amount of overlords and dogs on the map here. He's going to head into the base just so he can get as much intel as he can here, which will be zero. Or in fact, he does know his opponent has a spine car, which I don't think is going to help Sun Thieves out a whole heck of a lot. Only has one cannon at the base, so those dogs might actually be a little bit to deal with for him here. If they do choose to go all the way up there, he's going to send these two dogs out to the very top. He does have 11 dogs total here. That is not a whole heck of a lot if you ask me, especially with a couple Zelots sitting back at home here. But he's going to try this one more time. Failed the first time, why not try it a second time? Hey, coincidentally, it happened again. But of course, he is rallying him down there, as you can see here. So very well done. So this is good so far. It's exactly what I want to see is a massive rally of probes here. Doing a very good job here. Obviously, he had the one at the, at the 10 minute mark, so we will give him that. We will keep a count on it. He does have six so far, so not doing too bad of a job as far as that goes. And I find it very amusing so far. So he basically set this up. Oh, he is going to mine off it. I was going to ask, is he going to mine off that as well here? He is going to continually send them into the base. His opponent has to be wondering at this point in time why he keeps sending these up here. Here's another one going down at the front gate there. Very well done. Fairly amusing to me. Now these dogs are wondering where in the heck are they coming from? They will find out very quickly, but unfortunately, they run right by it. Did he actually see? You can't tell me he did see that. No! Must have missed it by the hair of his arse. I don't know. That was very, very close though. But as two stalkers out here, I don't know if he wants to lead the Hydra list back to this base that everything's coming from. But they will, might find out if they see a probe start heading out this way pretty quick here. And he is so close to seeing it. Now when that probe comes out, now he's going to know where it is. Cannons are on the go here. Don't know if that's going to be enough cannons here. What kind of count does he have here? 11 so far. We're not doing too bad of a job here, but that's too many cannons for those Hydralists to deal with. Hydralists are going to get out there. Puts a hallucinated uh, Z-Lot over there as well. 0-0 zero, zero for his upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> he's really got to be wondering what the hell these workers are doing. He's sending two queens over there. <laughs> I don't know if he's trying to do a stupid challenge too. <laughs> he got these queens wandering out of nowhere here. There's his hallucinated Z-Lot there. Here comes some of his workers transferring over here. Still not sure why the queens were out there. And at the other end, he's actually going to try and move through that front gate. But we do have a lot of cannons go down. They, they might actually be down in time, especially if he gets enough of those force fields out there. And there we go. They're just going to finish up very, very quickly. Sentry's in the back. He's definitely going to help this out. There's one of the cannons there. So he will fend that off quite easily. So Sun Thief's doing fairly good so far. Now at the other end, he's also he's also sacrificing units for no reason, sending them up these cannons. And, of course, the uh, patrolling uh, hallucinated changeling there. Sorry, not the hallucinated. It was the changeling the whole time. I'm not very sure why I said hallucinated. But, either way, they are the exact same thing. And these dogs are just going to stand around for a little bit here. Still no upgrades out of them. Meanwhile, Sun Thieves has won one for his upgrades, ground armor, and ground weapons. So I will give it to you there. That is very well done. Looking at the APM tab, has not changed a whole heck of a lot. 72 257 here. 
And we are up 105 to 72 as far as food count goes. And it does look like Sun Thieves has found a guy that he can outmatch here. Sending another probe into the base. His opponent must be thinking he is damn desperate to get some scouting on me. Why does he not send a hallucinated phoenix in here? But either way there, he's going to continue to get these probe kills. We'll take a look. We're up to 17 probe kills so far. So very well done. Didn't get that army all amassed in one great big pile here. There we are. Random wandering units everywhere. Here's the roach over here as well. Did he get any upgrades other than the wings? No, he did not. And is getting the roach upgrade, which I do believe gives them attack speed. Oh, movement speed. Sorry, not attack speed. And we're going to an evil chamber. We are also getting the groove spines here. And he will also get nothing out of the infestation pit as of yet anyways here. Do not have any swarm hosts or any infestors on the map here. And we do not have hive technology either. So not entirely sure what he plans on doing with the infestation pit. But I'm sure he'll figure out something here. There's another probe. And finally, he's had enough. He's going out here. He's actually going to move. No, he's not. He does not want a piece of those cannons here. So he's going to go right for the main here, knowing that there's a lot of wasted units coming out of that base here. And he's going to stop right there and decide what he wants to do from here. Overseer is coming as well, just in case he does get dark. He's on the map here. We are getting Storm as well. And we do have the Dark Shrine. There we go. So it is very, very smart. Maybe that he has the Overseers there. Oh, and they're coming in the other side of the base. Those must be super smart aliens. No one which side of the base to get in on there. And there goes Photon Overcharge. That will definitely help a lot there. And apparently enough to scare him. Try and get out of Ranger. It does get the Simulator kill. There you go. Killed off $75 worth of units there. Or worth of buildings there. Should make you pretty darn proud here. Still working on 0, zero upgrades. Not entirely sure why we're not upgrading. And it doesn't look like Stunthies really cares. He's just going to put himself in expansion right outside where the Overlord is sitting there and watching as well. Not too sure what Sunthi's big plan is here. It does look like we are just going to work on the Templar slash Stalker slash every gateway unit you can get. Wowzer, that is a lot there. And Darkies are now an option for him here. So if he does choose to put them in, it would be very, very good. He's trying to cannon up this side of the base here as well. There's the Darkies on the map here. They're going to do a boatload of damage. Should be able to finish off all of these Hydras very, very easily. Especially if he doesn't get down here. Look at that. We do have the one and the two upgrades now. So very well done. I uh, wouldn't have to imagine one for ground or two for ground armor is coming as well here. No, not quite yet. There we go. Swarm host is the choice. You can see those in the production tab there. So we are going to get some swarm hosts out here. A couple, few swarm hosts are already on the map here. Does have three swarm hosts all together. Take a look at the workers kill tab. We are at 23. Here goes 24. I could probably count from here. And 24 has died. One more and some of these will have accomplished the mission as long as he can get the win out of this map here. And from what I've seen his opponent do so far, I got pretty good faith in you, my good man. Does have these swarm hosts unburled at all. So apparently doesn't want to do too much for them warping in a bunch of units taking out these overlords quite easily here very well done just a lot of gateway units out there on the map here has actually supply blocked his opponent opponent's not paying very much attention to the amount of overlords he has on the map here not very good at all but is finally sending across the expendable units of locusts and they might almost get a kill pretty much took that right down there get get down to four hit points one more hit and that would have been toast and there we are a couple overseers in the middle of the map here he's got to really start getting worried about the um What's that word I'm looking for? Both the darkies there. I'm a little bit surprised that he doesn't have some more overseers over here. I'd have to imagine he's going to get a boatload of overseers here. He only has the three so far. One here and two in the middle of the map here. And he is getting a very good locust count here. But at the same time, like I say, Santis has accomplished the mission. Has 25 altogether that did get killed over there. And there goes the Locust. They will take out one cannon so far here, doing a very decent job. And we do have a lot of changelings on the map. He really wondered what the heck is going on here. That is a lot of changeling here. Here we go. Zealot's going to walk in there quite unharmed there. But Sun Thief sees it, and he knocks it down right away. There we go. He's probably going to start losing some more cannons here. There's another cannon. So this could be very big trouble, especially as that Swarm Host count gets higher and higher. It is only at 7 right now. But at the same time, his opponent was supply blocked for a while. It's still supply blocked, actually, but has at least evened it out to a... A uh, white number up top there and it's not red no more. Here comes these boatloads of uh, darkies here. And like I say, with that uh, two giving them 55 damage there, it's very devastating. He is going to try and walk in here, do the best he can. Of course, sees the overseer right away, so does back off, but does know the changelings are coming too. And leaves him alone, actually. Sorry, he's trying to find a different way in the base there. We do have changelings everywhere, so they can really see what's going on. Observer over here as well to help him out here. Now, whether or not he can get in there, I highly doubt it, especially with that overseer there, but he might. Have a little bit to sneak in if he really chooses to do so. He might be able to get around the backside, walk right into the base there where we have nothing uh, there to see him at all here. Santi's really deciding what he wants to do at this point in time here. Almost has an amassed army of 200, uh, 200 units here. And we are also getting a random looking uh, infester there. And there they are. They're all going right in there. Of course, these guys will die very quickly. They die just like glass when they can't be protected. Do a ton of damage. 
but don't have a lot of hit points. So does end up knocking that down here. Is currently working this expansion. Of course, Sunthes could really care less about this expansion. I think it was more or less there for the rallying probes. 29 altogether so far. So fairly decent. There's some tempers over there. There's some Z-Loss taking out the changelings. Very well done there. Get rid of that vision off the map there. And the 200 army should be shortly getting there. Of course, losing all those darkies there definitely did not help that at all here. And Zelots are going to try going in this time. Not entirely sure why he continues to sacrifice units. You realize you only have to sacrifice workers, right? But either way, you can sacrifice as many units as you want because it's all funnier to me. There we go. He's going to knock down that pylon very, very quickly there. Not too sure why he doesn't start getting closer. Oh, he did finally get him closer there. Closer and closer. Also give them a... Uh, a better life duration might be very very helpful i never did see if he ever did get that life duration no he didn't of course why not no bar getting the upgrade if you're gonna use the unit don't get the upgrade that is a very good tip remember that naji rack tech you guys that and there we go does knock down a few more there so those uh <laughs> those hydralists are gonna get out of there that storm wasn't the best storm in the world but either way who am i to judge and these locusts are going to chase down these units very, very quickly here. Try and do the best they can. We'll knock a Z-Lot down. A couple Z-Lots down. Three Z-Lots down. Almost four Z-Lots here. It is going to start getting some Archons here. So has given up on the Darkies here. Z-Lot legs are going to kick in here. Oh, can't kill anything. No, they do get knocked down. And Mutas are now on the field here. Could be a little bit of trouble for Sun Thieves, But at the same time, Sun Thieves has lost the Food Wars. Wow, wow. 174 to 146. So Sun Thieves is actually falling behind in this game here. But did get up his 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th expansion here. 6th expansion altogether. Uh, we can count this. Sure, 6 expansions altogether here. He is still building Rally and Probes there. Love to see the count here. We are at 37 altogether. That is impressive, my good man. And Locusts are going to go right to work on that Nexus here. They do a ton of damage, especially mass amounts like that. Did he finally... No, still has not got the Locust upgrade. So very well done there, my good man, Najirak. Once again, Najirak is teaching you guys how to play Pro Zerg level here. And here comes more Locusts. They might actually be able to knock down the Nexus at this point in time. Need to get a good full surround on it, though. And he is trying his best. He's actually going for the Workers this time. He's giving up the Nexus there. Like I say, without that extra lifespan there, definitely is hurting him here. But did get his other hatchery up here. So one, two, three, four, five hatcheries for him here. So he's only down by one hatchery so far here. That Roach is going to do the rest of the work. Kill off the rest of those uh, probes there the best they can here. And they're going to knock down a few more pylons. Try and delay some thieves here. He is almost at 200 food. Is bringing the muters right in the back door here. So could get a very, very interesting here. But of course, these stalkers see it coming. They're getting right up there. And not quite in time. They're actually going to create an expansion. So they did not see it here. But they do see it now. There's a lot of cannons there. And if anything, muters do not like it is cannons. So they're going to go work on the Nexus here. Kill off a few more probes here. Do the best damage they can here. Has almost lost that Nexus to this one roach here, which would not be good at all here. But at the same time, he has all these probes. If he does want to wander them over to the opponent's base, would be fairly amusing as well here. He is going to take them off somewhere. Is bringing in the army of observers here. But stalkers will warp in as well to try and help this out here. They'll knock down the rest of these mutas quite easily here. And at the other end here, we do have the locust finishing the job there. Do end up knocking down that nexus here. And is almost back to even as food count goes here. One dog is trying to do some work there. Roach ends up getting out of there scot-free. Almost ended up dying. But at the same time, we have more changelings than he knows what to do with here. And there we go. That army has pretty much amassed themselves. Almost up to 200 here at 186 at this current time. Doing a very good job, if you ask me. I will give that to him here. Changeling ends up sneaking right in there. That's going to be a tough changeling to see there. He is right in a very big army of gateway units. Will be tough to distinguish it there. There's the dog. Going to go to work again on a few more of these here. And up at the very top here, it does look like the roach wandered up there for no reason. Does end up losing that roach here. So, of course, he will take this uh, base as a loss here, which leaves him at 6. The eight, and that is one damn impressive number, son. I will make sure that is part of what I rank your score on because, like I said, the more worker kills that you are, more worker losses, the better it's going to be for you. And here we go. Gateway units are moving out here. Also has the Mothership Core. Very good supportive unit, especially with that time warp. But at the same time, we are going to get the pretty much 200 to pretty much 200 armies crossing over each other here both just gonna miss each other and go to one base and go to the other might turn into a little bit of a base race depending if some thieves determines to chase him down or Neji Rec de determines to chase down some thieves he's gonna go to work on that overseer so he doesn't know exactly where the army is here so does he choose to go for the base race or does he choose to come back and chase that army we're soon gonna find out here does look like he's gonna chase the army as he did spawn all the locusts to come over uh towards this army here and that is exactly what we are going to get. Did he get the upgrade? What does anybody think? He is getting the upgrade finally at the 25 minute mark. I guess you need to get 25 minutes. Still has 12 swarm holes there. And also has the four corruptors on the map. My army is scary. I'm sending you workers. Can you keep killing them? <laughs> All right. You bust me up, my good man. That is too funny. 
<laughs> he has a lot of uh, probes that he can end up wasting off here. His opponent must really be wondering what kind of question is that. He's trying to get in the base here. That has a lot of cannons there, but of course, or uh, Locust will go through those cannons like nothing here. I'm sending, I'm sending 12. That don't count. <laughs> I will, like I say, any sacrifice counts. There's 79 all together here. This is a very impressive count here. He's going to send them all over here. Like I say, it's basically sacrificial. It doesn't necessarily have to be from a rally in Nexus. But either way there, they are both funny, whichever way you want to do it here. Here they go. This is really going to take his count up really, really high here. Has found this with the Z-Lot. Will end up killing that off here. His opponent, I think, is more amused by the amount of workers. Look, they got in. See, this is what I'm trying to teach you guys. One step at a time, how to be a better player. See the scouting he got by sending in the mass amount of probes? And he is mining off his opponent. That is one of the best moves I've ever seen here. But now the armies are going to meet here. This is going to get decent here. Look at the storms go down. Those storms are exactly what he means here. They're knocking everything down here. This is going very, very well for him here. And it does look like something will just massacre this army more than likely in the end here. Uh, yeah. That is pretty much it. Also had some Vipers in his army here. Does have a lot of Swarm Holes still, but at the same time here, Sun Thief does have Detect in here. He's going to move in. Storm's one of them here. They do get one more hatch off here, and they will do a bit of damage, but with those Storms, that'll knock them down very, very quickly here. They're trying to get out there as quickly as they can here. Of course, Zelot's still doing his job up here. Run, he tells them. Sun Thief, you are one supportive son of a gun there. You are definitely supporting your opponent here by helping him out, telling him what to do here. There we go. This should pretty much be it for the rest of the Storm Holes here, but they will get one more launch off here. Might get a couple more um a couple more storms out here and with that blink that is going to be making big big trouble for him here they're losing their storm most one shot in front of these ones here needs to get the observer over there <coughs> still does not have an observer over there a little bit surprised here so this is definitely not going to go over very well for some things in the meantime, his opponent has a lot of roaches going to work over there. And there's the observers there. That'll finish off the rest of those storm holes here. But food count is fairly even. If you want to take a look at it, we are over 100. 104 is one damn impressive number. You are setting the bar, my good man. We'll see how this ends up working for you here. That is a massive amount of roaches here. He's determined that he doesn't want to go with any other unit other than roach slash viper. Not a recommended unit combination. But either way, if it works, it works, right? So Sunthes is going to build up again here. Has uh, a little bit of a lead as far as food count goes. And also has some Darkies warping everywhere. Darkies, the best thing you can do as a Protoss in late game is a lot of Darkie warpins as they do help quite a bit here. Do do a ton of damage and they are very annoying to deal with here. We'll knock down the hatchery but at the same time it was pretty much mined out. But we'll prevent any more gas coming out of that one here. And Darkies should get melted barring they don't walk right through these blades like they're nothing here. And, of course, there is no detection down there now. That is not good at all. He's saying GG. Doesn't like Darkies. GG, says some team. That was one decent game for Friday Challenge. Thank you so much, Sun Thieves, for sending that in there. I will give you my congrats and my condolences to you, Najarek. You did teach the viewers some stuff, some strategy for Zerg. And they will remember it. Trust me on that there. I will leave you with like this. If you're the yo-yo champ and you've been in my class before, I've seen the timer on the wall. And I didn't tell my teacher. Thanks so much for watching. You be good. Don't hurt nobody. Peace.